the scriptures speak. This is Ezekiel 7. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. My eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, an evil, a, a worldly evil, behold, is come. The end is come, the end is come, and watch it for me. Behold, it is come, the morning is come unto thee. O thou that dwellest in the land, the time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sound again of the mountains. Now will I certainly power out my fury upon thee, and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. America is fucking full of abominations, man. You got all kind of transsexuals on TV, all kind of fucking faggots, all kind of pedophiles walking up and down. You had a pedophile the other day dressing up in Santa, trying to get kids to come to his car and shit. I wish I would have seen his ass. I smashed his ass out and beat the shit out of his ass. But America, you fucking endorse pedophiles, man. You endorse transsexuals. You endorse faggots. You endorse lesbians, you endorse L LGBT, all that wicked ass shit. You endorse that bullshit. And all the so-called leaders is coming out, all the so-called leaders into that shit too. They showed you that at the Bohemian Groves and all these different occultic meetings they go to. Where you got different world leaders who where it's all revealed, they're a bunch of faggots and deviants, man. And these people come over to America a uh, uh, fucking lost and blind ass people <laughs> and they buy into the bullshit. You go into our communities, you set up your business, we support your shit, but we can never go into your country and, never, and set up any kind of business, man. And that's wicked as hell. And it's coming out, man. You so-called Asians, man. You like to cook cats, dogs, all kind of abominable shit in our food, man. That's why I don't support or buy none of that shit. And you want to try to act like you educated on some shit, man. You eating the fucking raccoons and all kind of rodents and all kind of shit. Fucking wicked ass. Shit is evil as hell. Hey, and another thing, man, you got, you got, you look at your damn, your damn rice, these goose cook, the rice is fucking as brown as you are, because the, the, the fucking oil they're using has been sitting for fucking weeks and weeks, okay, when you making rice, it's a light food, it's not supposed to be super dark like that, that means the oil you use is bad, that's why niggas eat that shit, they drink a soda, they eat some potato chips and they want to kill each other. That shit is evil, man. And these people also, you go in the shop, they got all kind of Buddhist, Buddha, all kind of idols and shit set up. And they saying prayers over your food. They're looking at you crazy and they putting curses on you. You people love it. I, I love me some chop suey, yeah? And, and, and when you look up what chop suey means, it means garbage. That shit is garbage, man. But you people are so fucking smart. Hell, you go to Asia, you go to China, they got a hundred dialects of the same fucking language. That means you got millions of people who, who speak the same language, but they don't fucking understand each other because the dialects are different. That's not smart. That's some that's confusion and that's some dumb shit. That's evil as hell. That's why when you go in a so-called black Native American neighborhood, you will never see a vegan, vegetarian, or none of that shit because it's set up for us to be destroyed. Wicked ass shit, man. 
kingdom is wicked as hell. Like you exemplify right the, the, the Will Smith, Bob Marley, Denzel, man, all these people are all kind of man, they ain't no stand up people, man. People are actors, the potheads. That's wicked. That's why not one so called black Native American or Latino person who's in the spotlight, not one of them is a righteous person, man. All of them are into some bullshit. Not one of them. I wonder if it's a real man. Most, I'm, I'm probably sure. Not even some real people take it up the ass. Too. That's the that's the nature of the bird. Take it up the ass, and you can you can you can, you can get a game from that. That's you wicked ass eating mice. That's why hey, you come, you try to talk with your suits and all that shit. I don't respect that shit. And I know what you're really about. It's a it's a show. It's a it's an illusion. That's what America is, a fucking illusion. And the men of the Lord, we out here to break that illusion. We are here, here to break the spell. It's time for you people to, to, to break the spell. The Israelites, so called the saints, supposed to break the spell, man. This shit, this shit ain't gonna last. This shit ain't about nothing. In my eyes, to not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold, the day, behold, it is come, the morning is gone forth, the rod hath blossomed. Pride has budded. Violence has risen up into a ride of wickedness. None of them shall remain. Nor, nor of the multitude, nor of any of theirs, neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold. Although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. And that's talking about Israel. But the Most High is going to apply the same destruction upon this place too. Ezekiel 7 is talking about Israelites. Ezekiel 9. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And that's what we're doing, man. We're crying out to the so called elites, the so called leaders, the so called rulers of this place. We're not worried about you, please, and you, you, you everyday crackers, man. We're not worried about you. And behold, six men came from the way of the high gate, which lies toward the north, and every man a slaughtered weapon in his hand, and one man among them was clothed with linen, and a writer's acorn by his side. And they went in and stood behind the brazen altar, and the glory of the, the God of Israel was caught up from the, the terror, whereupon he was the threshold of the house, and he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's ink by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of men that sigh and they cry for all the abominations that he done, that be done in the midst of the world. That's right, man. So you're supposed to sigh, you're supposed to cry, you're supposed to preach, you're supposed to prophesy for the men and for the women. You're supposed to be with that man. You're supposed to service that man. You're supposed to serve him, man. That's what the woman was made to do. Not like in America with a, with a fucking woman. It's, it's put over the man, right? That's what you Americans did. You put the you in, 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 in the so-called black Native American Latino society. Put over the man. It's where we get all kind of freebies, free housing, free health care. 
and then it ain't did nothing hard to get that shit. You had a 15 minute conversation or a 30 minute conversation and you got the free shit. That's not hard. Then you women wanna wanna be proud like you you really work to get something. Get the fuck out of here. You get pregnant, man. You think number one fucking nine months of pay. And you sitting there busting your ass and you know, like she's at home eating and getting paid. That's a fucking joke. That is a fucking joke. A real fucking joke. And then when you tell these so-called righteous women about it, right? These so-called righteous Israelite women and whatever, whatever. demons on it, man. That's why Isaiah 4 is going to happen, man. It's going to come to a day where these women finally realize what, what this shit is. And that's a woman, man. A woman, a woman, that's where the word feminine comes from. Fam, meaning, minus faith. Women don't have faith. They don't have faith in the Bible. They don't have faith in going to the ancient world, the ancient past. They want to talk about their, their, their Sarah or whatever. And these women of the ancient world they were not tripping on all the things if this man was dealing with another woman. Because they knew that order. They knew that place. The new city this society is what? Cheating. You had Jay-Z do a whole album about him. Cheating on and just because he dealt with other women. But meanwhile, fucking Beyonce is on stage half-ass naked. Shaking that ass for other men, but, but he's supposed to be head over heels in love with this one. So this place, man, this place got to fucking go. This place got to fucking burn. Real for real. Energy, which that's what that's what the men of the Lord do. Now I'm the bad guy because <laughs> I'm I'm told the truth. I'm calling the bullshit. When you say, look, the, the bullshit stops from this day. Now you got all kind of demons coming at you. Why? Why? Wait a minute. I'm gonna say that again, man. Hey, it's gonna it's gonna be an end to this shit. It's gonna be an end. Most of the people you can't see it, you can't imagine it. The, the bullshit, you know, is it, sitting on your mind. You can go to the store. You can you can go online and talk shit. You can go, you can buy shit. You can, you can be married. You know, you can you can you can go to the club. You know, you can, you can, uh, you know, your emotions are running wild. You're having a good, nice time. But it's going to be a day when that shit runs dry. Hey, hey, man. Right now, for most of these people, it sound crazy, but it's true. It's one thing you have to ask yourself. Why? Why would these people take so much time and effort to hide themselves? The, the, the truth that they know about. Why would they hide the identity of the Lord? What he look like? What his real name was? Why would they hide that information? Why would they hide the, the so-called information on so-called black people, man? That, that information has been heavily, heavily hidden throughout the whole earth. The whole earth. They know, they, every country you go to, they know their history. Some kind, somehow, our so-called history is a, is a mystery. We, we never did any business with you. We never seen you through history. We don't know anything about it. No, you so-called people conspired together. You hid our history. You tried your best, right, to destroy it with iconoclasm. You destroyed the black images. And then you painted them as white men and white women to try to make it seem like that was you. But now when we go back into that information, it's not adding up. It's not making sense.
This is Jeremiah 3 and 14. Turn on back, uh, backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am a Mary, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and will bring you to Zion. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So that's another question you ask me, you so-called Christians. What are the so-called pastors whose heart is unto the heart of the Lord? Where are these so-called pastors at? Where are they at? Where do they preach? Where do they teach? Where can I find them? Scripture's talking about inquire about the old ways, right? Jeremiah's going to go and say that too. Where are these so-called great teachers and leaders that I can acquire this information from? Who are out on the highways and byways as the scriptures command? You're not going to see them. You ain't going to see them. That's why this is such a, a such a hard thing. The scriptures talk about the straight path. But you gotta you gotta endure different things, man. You gotta you gotta come out here. You gotta have your stuff correct. Have yourself in order. In, in order. You gotta deal with the, the reality of the situation. That, that should be simple, but apparently it's not. Matter of fact, and this is Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said the Lord, stay ye in the ways and seek, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. And of course, that's what these people, that's the same sentiment that these people have. Huh? We ain't going to do it. And that's, that's old. That's old school. We ain't going to do it like that. You know, the Bible, that's a, that's a cruel book. That's a, that's, a, that's a bunch of cruelty. We can't blame faith in our own God. You're supposed to, according to the Bible, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to walk in the old ways, go back in the old paths. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to quit homosexuals to death. If a woman leaves out of a marriage, scripture say, let her leave with nothing. That's what's supposed to happen. So, hey, you people, are, hey, you people are full of demons, and you're soft. You're fucking soft. You want to get away with shit, so you coincide together just so you can do that. Man. That's what this society is about. It's a lot of get, getting, getting, uh, getting together with other wicked ass people, so you can you can network and you can both agree on some bullshit. That's what this society is about. Wickedness, man, evil. Just talk about going into the old paths. You're supposed to have a beer on your face. That's one of the old paths. You're supposed to aim. Number one, most importantly, you have to have a certain mentality too. Man. You have to have a ruling class mentality when you deal with the people in this world. And of course, that's easier said than done. One of the one of the more basic things is look, you don't you don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give all your business and your information out there. It's none of your business. You know, you don't need to know all, all, everything that I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Use, use these people for what they are. And that's real talk. You're supposed to go into the old ways, the old paths. You're supposed to be able to have a, 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 an adequate knowledge that you can trace history back to. If you believe that, that God created the world, you're supposed to be able to trace history back, at least on a basic level, to how it got from that to the point you're at now. If you say that you believe in, in divine creation, you're supposed to be able to do that. And most of these people can't do that.
that. They, they can't tell you the history. They can't go into that information. And that's real talk. They can't, they can't even go into the, the, the creation of the world. Because unto them, it is not given. We can go on to that because it was given to our elders and apostles. But they can't break this down. They can't go into the Strong's concordance in the Hebrew, going into the different information and the facts, going into the, the, the moon, the new moon, uh, is, the, is, the, is the Sabbath. I can't go into none of that. That's the, that's the basis of this world. They can't just make a proof and sit and take leave. They can, they, can, they can just regurgitate some shit that they learn. They can't actually prove it with facts or information. They can't do that. They can't come out here and, and, and debate you now because it's too cold out here. It's a, it's a lot of factors out here, too. You got weirdos walking around. You got <laughs> all kind of shit. So these so-called intellects and people are intellect. Really you can't take it to the streets and bring out what you know. You can, you can go on a camera or something like that, and you can talk on camera in a safe, controlled, you know, uh, uh, temperature-controlled environment. But for you to go in and, and, and uh, stand out here and do the people, you can't do that. That's why we're not confounded by your, your so-called intellects, your top scholars. Because if you put your top scholars against the top scholars in the middle of the Lord, we'll embarrass you. Really, it's not about that. It's about doing the work of the Lord. It's about, you know, uh, exalting the name of your how why your how shot. But I'm just saying, if that would have happened, it, it wouldn't look good. That's why the scriptures talk about going to the old ways, going to the old past. The men in the ancient world were smarter than we are now. They were they knew certain because they received the going back to Adam, they received that breath of life from the most high. They knew exactly how things were supposed to be. It's like Solomon came to the They knew all that information. That's why I tell you that Abraham had different wineries and you know, from, from, from the, the ancient middle of the world, you know, we, we started off probably with, with basic stuff with wood and stone or whatever. And then over time, we developed it. We developed it the metal and different stuff. So the ancient men, like I said, they knew how to do everything. They knew how to take the herbs from the ground and what herbs to eat and what herbs not to eat. Because the herbs, you can't just take the shit just because it, it makes you feel a certain way. That's how you kill yourself. That's why most of these people, they're on marijuana heavily because they don't understand what it is. What's that? So you have some herbs that are, um, that are specifically for certain certain illnesses. Then you have some herbs that are that are that are that, that uh, if, you, if you deal with them, they'll bring up a damn uh, uh, demon out of you. That's what that, that's that's really what this 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 new what the marijuana is, you know, burning burning sage and all that. Stuff. Some of that shit goes back to witchcraft. That shit goes back to witchcraft. And they, in the middle of the ancient world, they knew that. That's why when you go online and you ask people that, how, how did people know what to eat and what not to eat? And the answer is never solid. It's always well. They must have experimented with it and then somebody had to die. Some stupid shit. But that's how they knew. Because they were given that information. They were given the information for it. For, it's, it's a reason why uh, 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 men in the ancient world were shepherds and farmers and they knew the different cycles of the earth because we, we knew that information. The men in the ancient world were a lot smarter. They were a lot stronger too. You know, so-called, our people, we, we were captains of war. We were different captains and different leaders. We understood, hey, 
this shit, this shit is just, this, this, we are at a low point right now. It's a low point. It's a low point to see your people walking through here and, and they got that confidence on their face like they just been fucked up their whole life. You know what that's about. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fucked up thing. You see? Hey, but, hey, the scripture, this is, the, this is your comfort right here. This is the, this is the, the hug you're looking for, the, the embrace of the, the, the feeling of being wanting and love, this is it. This is the comfort. You know, we're not, you, you can't look at, you can't look for that feeling in somebody else if you don't already have that in yourself. That's why this is the comfort of the Holy Scriptures. This is the secret place of the most high. This is that secret place. high priest, they knew how to do that. They had places set up, the Holy of Holies, the Ark of the Covenant, where the presence of the Most High actually dwelt. <laughs> it actually dwelt there. These ancient men, they had knowledge that we don't have, understanding that we don't have. Okay. Scripture's talking about hey, hey, a serpent bit Paul and they said, man, this dude is a killer. He didn't even react to it. He said, hey, this dude is a killer, man. That's what, hey, that's what, that's what, uh, 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 that's what being a prophet makes you into. Because you are, you're supposed to be a spiritual man. So to say, have no sudden fear of something. Hey, this shit, this shit chills you. It, it chills you. And, and the scriptures say, what? Well, endure to the end to a, as a good soldier. So it's going it's gonna hey you're gonna be you gonna be put through some fire, you're gonna be put through some affliction. Even if you went through some affliction in your in, in regular life, you're gonna be put through some more affliction, some more fire. And you just pray that you are you are uh, right in the eyes of the most high so he preserved you. Lord, let me be one of the, the elect men in that day. Lord, let my affliction not be in vain. I don't know why you have a shot. Let everything that I'm doing be seen by you. Let you let you put blessings and increase upon me, Father. Let you let you lighten my load a little bit, Father. That's prayers we put up every day, man. These Edomites, they don't pray. They don't fucking pray. You Edomites, everything about you is substance. Substance. And, 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 and wanted to be seen and, and, and so called wicked Israelites you take them on that on and that's why when I, you see people walking through or driving through they point and they looking at you and then when they see you know that shit not really bothering you hey I don't give a fuck you can, you can do that all night and then they wave at you okay well you support what you doing buddy you support yeah that's okay good hey I I'm not here to make friends, man. I don't give a fuck no more, man. It is what it is. Anyway, I, don't, I don't need these new friends. Fuck that. So, and like I said, man, I don't know what I'm saying, man. It's got a little bit of a snowstorm, but... saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet, but they said, we will not hearken. 
Therefore, he nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. Here, here O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected them. That's what you're supposed to do too, man. If you're a black man, a black and a Latino, you're supposed to hearken to the law of Yahweh, of the Most High, God in the Bible. You're supposed to hearken unto that law. And you're supposed to keep that law to the best of your ability, like you said in Acts. I believe that's Acts 6. So the, circum so the uncircumcised become, so like said, the circumcised become uncircumcised. You're supposed to keep the law to your best of your ability. Rehearse the righteous acts according to Paul. You people don't rehearse the righteous acts. You go into a church, they tell you all the all the all the bullshit that you want to hear. Oh, we don't have to do that. That was done away with. The law, the Bible's done away with. We're in a new age. Uh, the Lord died so we wouldn't have to keep the law. But it clearly says uh, uh, John three seventeen. Yeah. Oh, Slack in that job. But it clearly says. The Lord said, look, I, I come not to condemn the law, but through the law we might be saved. I, I'm paraphrasing that. That's what he said. And that's real talk. And, and salvation is only going to be for the Israelites, man. You Edomites, when that day comes, you so-called Edomites, you so-called Caucasians and, and God, Lord, man, you go to when that day come or your your retribution, you gonna get it. You gonna fucking get it. And it's gonna come with holy hell. Everything you love and, and the comfortability and the different things you got, that shit is gonna be stripped off. And you're gonna be out here looking bad, man. For real, for real. Cause you motherfuckers, man, you did all kind of wickedness, man. Saying it over and over, man. You people, you've done all kind of evil and wicked deeds, and you just thought you just got away with it. Oh, it is what it is. I was, I was the smarter man in the situation. You know, fuck the nigga, and I got away with it. You gotta just take what you want. You really thought that you got away with it, but the Lord used you to bring destruction upon us. The scriptures even tell you that the, the Lord, He said, uh, uh, I, I've become ashamed. You, you people, you, you, you overdid it. You overdid it. And like I was saying, man, when that holy hell comes upon this place, and it comes upon you, eat advice, man, that shit is gonna, it's gonna be bad for you. It's gonna be bad. I'm not gonna feel a lick of sympathy for you fuckers. Because outwardly, you try to smile, you try to pretend like everything's okay. But inwardly, the scriptures say, you, you, you think that your kingdom is going to go forever. That's what these Americans think. This kingdom is going to go forever. This shit will never fade. This shit will never die. This shit will never go out. You people really think that. You really think America is going to go on for fucking forever. But it's not. This shit is going to be crushed. It's going to be destroyed. This shit is going to be completely fucking obliterated according to the Holy Spirit. With all the folly and the fuckery and the smiles and, the, and, the, and, the, and just the wickedness. By the time you come up, you, you coming up in wickedness. They got you watching Disney and Nickelodeon. All this evil ass shit. They're programming you to have fucking demons on you. They ain't teaching you nothing. And if you don't have a parent over you to show you certain things, you come up believing that shit and having them fucking demons on you. That's why you got so many of our people as, as fucking cool. It's cooling out. It's completely selling, selling their soul, selling everything about themselves. It's a fucking insane. Just a fucking insane. You say, damn, man.
I said, man, hey, all the, all the, when the time comes, man, all the smiles are going to fade, all the good feelings and the good vibes and the tears and the, all of that shit is going to be out the window. That shit's going to be gone. And it's going to be that energy where you know your head is fucking here. That shit is going to come before you. That's why you people are going to fight so hard. That's why uh, it's good to talk about uh, he should be as a math man, spare and nerd. Because you people know that your construction is near. You can feel your head coming. You like, well, look, I'm gonna go out with a bag. Hey, go out with a bag. That's according to scriptures too. You cannot, you cannot run from the prophecy of the holy scriptures, no matter who you are and what you think about. Continuing on, Jeremiah 6, this is Jeremiah 6 and 20. To what purpose cometh there to meet incense from Seba, and the sweet came from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifice sweet unto me. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them, and the neighbor and his friends shall perish. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people coming from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall There they shall lay on bow and spirit. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses, set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof, our hands wax feeble, anguish have taken hold of us, and pain as of a woman and travail. And just like that woman, she's crying out, she's screaming out, that's what's going to happen to you people. You're going to be like a woman and travail. A woman with birth pain, crying, screaming, begging. You can't tell a woman what's in travail, nothing. She's in pain. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy in fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for the uh, one son, an only son, most bitter lamentation for the spoilers shall suddenly come upon us. I have set I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people, that thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous, revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burnt. The lead is consumed from the fire. The founder melted in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them, because the Lord have rejected them. That's right. And you got certain people amongst the nation of Israel who have been rejected, reprobate silver. And you say a prayer, you know, hey, we all go off, but you know, you want to be disciplined and try to limit the, 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 the magnitude for how you're going off. You don't want to continue and add this and add up wickedness. You don't want to be reprobate silver. And that's who this, this country is fucking exalts. Reprobate silver. Jaden Smith and, and, and what's this? Uh, catch me outside. You're all these just reprobates. Just fucking clowns and idiots. Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> Young Thug. <laughs> all these fucking reprobates, man. That's, that's what this shit is about. All this exalting exaltation. 
accusation of reprobates. That's correct. Hey, so like I said, there's going to be a day when your so-called white privilege fails because the fucking, the, 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 the ruler of this world right now is the spiritual demon Satan. And for you to be in rulership, you have to take some kind of old to Satan, man. You keep all that are old to Satan. Whether it's you follow after his doctrines or you pray directly to him. Or you under somebody who's under him direct. Because that's what the Illuminati is, right? You got, you got 12 families, 12 leaders who, who, who they can go directly before the demon Satan. And then they'll give their people, they have their people compartmentalize that little, that little system, whatever it's called. Illuminati just means illuminated ones. They're illuminated by that, that evil left handed energy. That's what it's about. This place ain't about righteousness upholding and uplifting Yahweh while Yahweh shot. Hey, but in this society, you'll never hear about 12 families that, that uphold good. Everything is about being evil in this society. Being underhanded. Never, never trust anybody and be willing to backstab anybody. That's what this society is about. That's why the style of this society is to have a fucking hood on your head. Hoodies. That's a that's an occultic thing, a hood. If you walk into a city with a hood on your head, then the people, they might fucking kill you in the ancient world. In this society, that's something that's normalized. The so-called enterprise, you normalize occultic behavior and occultic fashion and occultic items. It has an occultic value to it. And when you question people about it, why they use it? Oh, I, I don't know. I just yeah, because you you're just a follower. You just an average peon. You don't know what the fuck is. Yeah. You know the scriptures talk about a, a man of wisdom. You know he'll he'll seek to find out why why what, what why you're doing what you're doing and why it is what it is.
also had conceived by one even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither has it done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to our election might stand, not of works, but of him that called him. And so what is that called? That's, that's called predestination. Certain things were already prophesied to happen in the exact way that they were said to happen. Whatever you are that you come to be, you predestined to be. The apostles are predestined to be the top. The elders are predestined to be the elders. Just because you feel a certain type of way about it, you can't change the order of it. All you can do if you're Israelite is try to follow the prophecy and, and, and fulfill your life, whatever that may be. Sometimes brothers go off, situations happen, how they happen, splits happen. You know, it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta still work out your own salvation. You gotta do the work of the Lord. Hey, other men can't save me. I can't save them. I can't save myself. said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout the earth. That's right. So you need a might you had to receive power over us for the most high to manifest his power and take you down. And that's what's going to happen. You and you the modern day Pharaoh. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will be part of it. That's what he did. He pointed the heart of Pharaoh. And I will say then unto me, why doth he find him yet by fault? But who hath persisted his will? Maybe, O man, maybe, O man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall the fame form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the pot of power over the clay? Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. That's right. So he's the potter. He can create the, the thing how he, how he wants to create. Don't worry about it. What if the most high willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure the much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? That's right. That's like having a, a clay pot sitting on your, on your wall, but you know you're supposed to destroy it. You have to endure that. And that he might make known the riches of his, of his glory of the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Even us whom he have called, not of, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. You have Israelites who are Jews, Israelites who are Gentiles. And he said also in, in uh, and as he said also in O.C. I, I will call on my people which were not my people and her beloved which was not beloved. 
And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. Esaias also cried concerning the Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, the remnant shall be saved. But he will finish the work and cut his sword in righteousness, but it's a short work with the Lord make upon the earth. And as Esaias said before, except the Lord and Sabaoth had left us a seed, we had been as Sodom and been like unto the Lord, which destroyed, destroyed those two cities. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which follow not after righteousness have attained to righteousness through the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel which follow after the law of righteousness have not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, but they stumbled at the stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. But you're not supposed to stumble. You're not supposed to stumble on a rock of offense. I said that last week. I'm going to say it again. You're supposed to go along with the will of the Most High. Wherever your part is, play that part. This is Romans 10. Brethren, my heart's desire in prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. And that's what we desire. Now the so-called Israelites wake up in their mind, wake up to their nationality and who they are. We, we pray and we hope that. Which is going to happen according to the scriptures. 112,000 of each nation is going to rise up. You got believers, you got non-believers. You got teachers, you got followers. Some men have more followers, some men have more teachers. Hey. Good job. Hey. <clears throat> that being said, I have to look out. The Lord said, well, we're going to be fishers of men. We're going to be fishers. We're going to have faces, of course. Of course, I couldn't cook anything today. I couldn't. I couldn't quite catch anything. It's a little chilly out, but I, I did the work as it is. You know, it's like I said, all praise to Yahweh, Bashir, Yahushai, the Bible, the Apostle, the Elders, the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you. I came out there and shall go on to the next time. Matter of fact, I'm going to do one more scripture before I get it out. I'm going to do one more. One more purpose. Thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward 
voice of return upon thine own head. Thank you.